Good morning. This is the second book that I'm reading, so it's a bonus book. But you know, it's a great book, and I want you to think about the people in this book. And particularly, this book is called These Hands, and what your hands are capable of, what we are capable of. So let's, let's listen. is written by Margaret Mason, but the illustrations are just wonderful by Floyd Cooper. If you ever get a chance to see another book by Floyd Cooper, you'll know what I'm talking about. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to tie a triple bowline knot in three seconds flat? Well, I can still help a young fellow learn to tie his shoes. Yes, I can. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to make the ivory sing like a sparrow in the springtime? Well, I can still show a young fellow how to play heart and soul. Yes, I can. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to pluck the ace of spades right out of thin air? Well, I can still teach a young fellow how to do a waterfall shuffle. Yes, I can. Look at that waterfall shuffle. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to throw a curveball faster than a dive bombing honeybee? Well, I can still help a young fellow learn to hit a line drive. <laughs> yes, I can. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands were not allowed to mix the bread dough at the Wonder Bread factory? Did you know that these hands were not allowed to touch the bread dough at the water Wonder Bread factory? These hands were only allowed to sweep the floors and work the line and load the trucks because the bosses said white people would not want to eat bread touched by these hands. Well, these hands joined with other hands. And we wrote our petitions. And we raised our voices together. Now any hands can mix the bread dough, no matter their color. Now any hands can touch the bread dough, no matter their color. Yes, they can. Look at these hands, Grandpa. These hands used to not be able to tie a shoe. or play the piano, or shuffle the cards. Or hit the ball. Look at where he hit that ball, way up there. Now, I can do all of that. Plus, bake a fine loaf of bread, can't I? Why, yes. Yes, you can, Joseph. Look at those hands. Those hands can do anything, anything at all in this whole wide world. Yes, you can.
There you go. His hands can do anything in the whole wide world because his grandfather and his grandfather's friends and people his grandfather didn't even know, people from all walks of life, from all colors of the rainbow came together so that his grandfather and people like his grandfather could be liberated, take their rightful place in the world. Yes, he can. Let us pray. Thank you for the many people who have gone before us, who have helped us see what we can do, made it possible for us to be who we want to be. And Lord, we know that you're walking beside us, that you're helping us along the way, just as you've helped our parents and our grandparents. Continue to walk with us in the days to come. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful week. And remember to look at your hands. And if you can, take the hand of your parent or your grandparent and take a look at them and see how big their hands are.